Pokemon board, Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. We're here today to give you a little room tour. This is not our room, it's actually my parents' room, and it is an ocean view room. So I think it's just a standard ocean view, it's not a spacious or anything like that. We'll give you the complete tour, show you what it's like, give you all the ins and outs of it, so you know for your sailing. So come along and join us, please. So this particular stateroom is 14530. And interesting to note, this is a new room. This was added during Royal Amplification, and it's also right next door to one of those like suites that they built under the wings, or above the wings, on the wings <laughs> of the ship, which are really cool. So let's head inside and check it out. So upon entry, we look back at the door. We have our standard setup, safety information, magnet to let the room attendant know if you're in or out or sleeping, people with cover, and the door handle and deadbolt itself light up above and then one kind of nice little feature here is this built-in shelving put in some room service menus if you have books or magazines to keep them there a wallet of keys something like that and it even has a little couple little hanging pegs up above so that's a nice feature and then across do have a full-length mirror our thermostat and light switches. So you see we have the master switch there. These are the two light switches for lights in the room. I think for the entry, yep. And then the rest of the cabin there. And then the switch with the red light is for the bathroom, which we can find in here. When we open the bathroom door, we see our three hanging hooks on the back side. And we enter, we have our towel racks upon entry to the right. Hanging hooks on the wall as well. Single sink vanity with nice tile work there. Storage shelves down below, extra towels, paper, things like that. And we have this fun little drawer here. That's that's neat, little, little guy. And our cups, glasses I should say, on the shelves up above we do have three of those. And the razor plug-in there, of course the light built in up above, there's a speaker in here as well for any announcements. We have our mirror, our toilet, and then the shower itself. Which is a pretty nice angle actually, the way it's kind of fit in there on the triangle pattern. We have our removable and adjustable shower head, our built-in hair and body wash two-in-one, a little rack, and then your knobs and adjustments for the water pressure and temperature. There is a handle in here as well as a footrest. So this is actually a pretty sizable bathroom and I don't know if all the ocean view rooms are like this or if it's this one because they kind of built it in right next to, like I said, the suite that they added on the wings. But uh, it's a nice setup there, nice size. And going into the rest of the room here, like you can see that view right away. We come in, we have our sofa, <laughs> which I, don't believe is a bed. I think that's just a sofa. It doesn't feel like a pull-out a pull sofa. No. Oh. I, oh. Pull. Wait, it's, wait a tick. Wait a tick. Is it a jackknife? Oh, no. It's storage. It's just storage underneath. Oh, but there is storage underneath, so that's, that's nice. That's fun, so keep that yeah. in mind. So then, yes, this and there is no uh, Pullman, so this is a room for two. Have some nice artwork up above. This is just solid wall on the bathroom. And then on the opposite side, we have some... This is not solid wall. Oh, excuse me. I, I'm way <laughs> off here. I thought that was, I legitimately thought that was a wall. What is this, your first time doing a room tour? Maybe. <laughs> just, <I'm just> <laughs> In this kind of room it is. I wasn't expecting this. There's our closet. It's a nice closet. I feel too. like a fool. <laughs> no fool. There is a safe not large enough for a laptop, maybe an iPad, maybe a smaller one, but jewels and other things. Plenty of storage shelves there. And then, if you'll be so kind, Vanna, let's see those E's. <laughs> <laughs> we do have hanging up above, another shelf up above as well, some more racks, and a pull-down storage space down below. Not a solid wall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back over on this side, we do have uh, storage space down below, two smaller shelves in the cabinet, and then here as well, one, two, three, and we have the mirror built in with the lights, and that is controlled by that switch right there. Your desk space with your chair, trash can down below, 
And then we have some drawers here, small one with the hair dryer and tissues. These are soft clothes, two larger ones there. And of course, you know what's in the, the big door. It's the mini fridge. Let's see here, there we go, got a little switch. So we have two cupboards, shall we say, on the door, and a couple shelves that you can adjust in there. And of course, they'll put your information you need to know, cruise compass, things about internet, or uh, staying safe and healthy. We do have masks and hand sanitizer right now, provided. And then up above, we do have our two standard plugs, two USB plugs, as well as, what is this, like a European, I think? I'm not sure, but one of those you can use. Your television mounted to the wall. It does swivel. It does not tilt. And it does come out from the wall though. Whoops. <laughs> so it pulls out there. Look at that. Which is most important because it can tilt towards the bed. The bed. So you can view from the bed. You can view from the couch. If you got creative, you might be able to view from the bathroom. <laughs> yep. And we do have a, a larger shelf up above the television. And we turn here, more artwork with a light up above. Very nice. And we have our bed space. Of course, most Royal Caribbean rooms, you can have the two twins split with, they'll move the, uh, the uh, nightstands kind of in the middle, or you can put them together into the Royal King. So this is the bed space. See the nice artwork up above the headboard. There are lights, or greeting lights on either side. And then on that side, closest to the window, there are also light switches down below to control the cabin lights, just like when you came in. Both sides do have a nightstand with its like multi-tiered shelving. And this side has the phone, room phone. Uh, set on it as well. So whoever's in charge, maybe take this side. You have the lights and the phone. One final note, I know people always ask about plugs near bedside. There aren't any built-in USBs or plugs here. There is a standard outlet down here, not very easily accessible, but it is there. So if someone needed to use like a CPAP machine or maybe you just wanted to charge your phone, that would be an option for that side. We do have curtains and per the usual, we have the shears and the blackouts. And then in your porthole window with a view. And it's kind of interesting because there's this, which looks like an extended part of the balcony next door. We're not sure what that is exactly, but... I think it's just like a crew only area. It may be. It looks blocked off from the other side. And the thing is, that's the bridge right there. And that's the suite, one of the two that they added on either side of the ship right there so it is an interesting space and one other minor note here there is a placard in the evenings please close draperies to minimize disturbance to the bridge so you have a a special duty to undertake if you stay in this room it's a responsibility it's like getting the emergency exit seat on a plane exactly you have to be on your p's and q's you do be ready <laughs> but no this is actually a really nice ocean room like it's not a spacious but it feels like it a feels spacious. like it yeah i think just the configuration it's and i think because it's a new uh, one of the new ones that they put in from the amplification they did a really good job of orienting things to to give you space like it's it's very comfortable very. all right friends that is going to do it for today's tour of this ocean view room here on board oasis of the seas hope you found it helpful and maybe a little fun too yeah. Thinking a closet was a solid wall. Like a fool. Like a fool. I found that fun. And if you're interested in sailing on board Oasis of the Seas, of course we can help make that happen. We're travel agents. You can find our information in the description of this video. Guess what? It's completely free and complimentary to you. You will not pay more to book with us than you would booking direct on your own. So please feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you soon. Once again, thanks for joining us today. And we're signing off. Happy, Happy travels! travels.